Greetings, fellow foodies. Today, we are going to have some Jamaican curry chicken with yellow potatoes and some carrots. Come join me in my kitchen as we sail away to the Caribbean. All right, first things first, I've got some chicken breast that I cut in half because they were kind of thick. So I'm going to dice them up. You guys are going to hang out with me while I dice this chicken up. So let me tell y'all that I am in the process of writing a cookbook. The name of my cookbook is going to be Kitchen Kismet, Culinary Adventures from Barbara's Hearth. I figured since I like to cook so much and I could cook anything from soul food to um, international foods, soups, casseroles, breads, desserts, you name it, I could cook it. And a kismet is somebody that can cook all types of food. So what better way to come up with a name for my cookbook and just call it Kitchen Kismet because that's basically what I am. So with that being said, I am planning on releasing it um, hopefully either by the end of this month or the beginning of March. And I'm putting this chicken in a bowl because I'm going to season it after I'm done cutting it up. So, um, anyway, going back to what I was saying about my cookbook is, like I said, I'm calling it Kitchen Kismet and I am planning on releasing it either sometime at the end of this month or the beginning of March. Um, so be looking out for that. It'll be on Amazon. And not only am I gonna be releasing a cookbook, I'm gonna be releasing two cookbooks. So what happened was I typed, typed up a bunch of rece recipes. Pretty much every recipe that I've ever cooked, every recipe that's stored inside this crazy mind of mine. Um, and I ended up writing 600 pages. Well, 600 pages is way too much for one cookbook. So I have decided that I am going to break the cookbook down into two cookbooks. So what I'm going to do is my soul food and my comfort food is going to be, and, and my um, international cuisines is going to be in the kitchen kismet. Um, cookbook and then my soups and my casseroles and my breads and my desserts will be in another cookbook and I haven't decided on the title for my second cookbook like I said um, I picked out the name kitchen kismet because I can pretty much cook just about anything and that's what the word kismet means and Honestly, I did not intend to write 600 pages of recipes. It just kind of happened. And like I said, it's way too much for one cookbook. So we're going to do two instead. Like I said, I think I'm going to do um, soul food and comfort food and, and um, global foods in one. And then do soups, breads, desserts, and casseroles in, in the other. Unless, unless those recipes are too much for one cookbook, then I'll, then I'll break it down and write three cookbooks. But as of right now, I've got one cookbook coming out, hopefully by the end of this month, first part of March. And then the second one, possibly a third one, will be coming out. All right, so I got all my chicken cut up. And I'm going to move this. And I'm going to season my chicken now. Y'all ready to see the seasonings? All right, we've got adobo. You see the adobo? That is salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano. So now we're going to do some curry powder. And this is Jamaican curry. Since we're making a Jamaican dish, we're going to make have Jamaican curry. I know that looks like a lot, but I'm going to blend it in. 
And we got turmeric. Y'all see the turmeric? And now we have cumin. Whoo! <laughs> That's strong, baby. That's strong. And then we got some smoked paprika. And I'm going to cut up some vegetables here in a minute. But first, let's blend this. Make sure it's well coated, well seasoned. All right. So we're going to set it aside and cut up some vegetables. All right, we got some yellow potatoes here, and I just washed them off. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them up just a little bit, make them just a tad bit smaller, and then we're going to add some baby carrots and some peppers and some onions. All right, so let's get the let's get those potatoes going. All right, I'm just going to cut them like this. And I'm going to put them back in that little colander there because I'm going to put my um, carrots in there and rinse them off too. All right. So basically, we're just chopping vegetables. And then we're going to put everything together in our curry. And these vegetables that I'm cutting up, they're also going to be... Um, they're going to be also seasoned with the same seasoning that I did with the chicken. So the chicken, the vegetables, and all that good stuff. And then we're going to make like a little, um, the, the liquid is going to be coconut milk. And of course, it's going to absorb up all, all the seasonings. You know, my last couple of videos that I did, I didn't really talk a whole lot because I was nervous. Um, it's not every day I get in front of a camera and cook for people. I typically cook for myself. Um, and of course, holidays and things, when I have family over, I cook for them. But I never cook for the, excuse me, I just burped. Uh, but I never cook for the general public. Um so, talking on camera while I'm cooking is a whole different ball game for me. Um, I'm finally starting to feel a little bit more comfortable talking to you guys and cooking for you guys. I know you're probably bored to death watching me um, cook potatoes, but I promise you it gets better because you're going to get to see me do a little bit more than just cut potatoes and seasoned chicken, I promise. So if you'll just bear with me and be a little understanding to the fact that um, I don't typically talk on camera and cook at the same time. All right, so the potatoes are done. I'm gonna take these little baby carrots, you see, and I'm gonna put them in a colander with my potatoes and just kind of rinse them off and we'll be back with the onions and the peppers all right so i've got some olive oil heating up in a dutch oven a cast iron dutch oven so all those onions and peppers that i cut up i'm going to put them in Let's stir them up so they don't get all crazy and start sticking. And I'm going to put the same seasonings that I used for the chicken. I'm going to put that, put that in here. And don't forget to stir. Because we don't want it to stick. That was the adobo seasoning. So now we're going to add the Jamaican curry. Okay, and we're going to add the turmeric. 
Oh, shoot. I'm over here messing up. I'm going to add the turmeric. Do a little stir so we don't get... And I'm going to add the chicken here in a minute. But let's add some smoked paprika. And let's add some cumin. So everything that we use to season the chicken with. Adobo, cumin, curry, turmeric, smoked paprika. That's all in here. And I'm going to push this aside. And I'm going to put the chicken in. Let that chicken cook a little bit. All right. Whoop. My camera is not wanting to stay in place for whatever reason. So we're going to cook this a little bit until it's It doesn't have to be all the way cooked because it's going to simmer in coconut milk. But we want to get it a little, a little brown. I'm getting some water. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and to glaze that pan so it doesn't stick. The only thing I don't like about cooking like Jamaican food or Indian food is that um, the curry and the turmeric and the cumin, they all leave like a little they leave a little, um, you know, a, you know, see how my pot is stained? That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we got the chicken, the green peppers, which is actually Serrano peppers, and then we got the orange and red miniature bell pepper, as I like to call it, and the green onions and um, all the seasonings. So now I'm going to add my potatoes and carrots. There's a lot of them. All right, let's... If you're wondering what I'm doing there, I'm... Uh... And we'll kind of just blend that in a little bit with the chicken and the peppers and onions just because I want them to have the potatoes and the carrots to have a little bit of flavor too. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the coconut milk. And you always want to make sure you, stir, uh, you shake up your coconut milk before using it, okay? All right, so I'm going to slowly pour that in. All right. And this is what I use. I just used the coconut milk. All right, we got some coconut milk in here. All right, I'm gonna have to add some water. I'm gonna have to add just enough water to cover everything. All right, let's do some more. I think that's good. 
All right, let's stir it up just a tad. And you see the coconut milk is now the color of the curry and the cumin. All right, the other thing I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna put some ginger paste in here. Ginger paste will give it a little extra flavor. Oops, <laughs> whoopsie. All right, there, I gave it a little bit of ginger paste. And I like to serve this with basmati rice, okay? So now that I've added the coconut milk and a little dab of water and a little dab of um, ginger paste, I'm gonna put two chicken bouillon cubes in there because that'll give it some flavor as well. Okay, so there's that. And last but not least, I'm gonna put my aromatics in here. I'm gonna put a bay leaf. I'm gonna put some rosemary and some thyme in there as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the cover on it and I'm gonna let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, after it's done, the potatoes and the carrots should be fork tender. And all those, um, all of those um, herbs and spices and everything should be um, melted together and we should have a delicious dish. All right, so I'm gonna put the, put the cover on it and we're gonna let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, folks, we are now finished with the curry chicken. We are done with the basmati rice. We have some naan bread. I didn't make the naan bread. I the store-bought. Um, but earlier I cut up some onions and some peppers, and I just realized that I didn't film that part. And I apologize, but this has got red and orange bell peppers and sereno peppers, and some green onions. So let's take a bite. So we'll see what we got going on here. Mmm, carrot is good and tender. Let's take a bite of this chicken. Mmm, chicken's good and tender. Full of flavor. You got the sweetness of the coconut milk. You've got the spice from the adobo and the curry and the turmeric. And then we've got some rice here. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. All right, folks. I just want to say thank you for tuning in to Culinary Adventures with Barbara. And I would like for you to tune in next time because we are going to have some Swedish meatballs with some gravy and some mashed potatoes. So don't forget to hit that notification bell and stay tuned.